Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video of live fish, plants, aquatics, the whole nine yards here at Wet Pets and Pals. Um, today is Thursday, September 2nd, uh, which means in five days will be my birthday. So I expect everybody to bring me sushi, pizza, coney dogs, ice cream, uh, and to leave a bunch of cool likes and thumbs ups and happy birthday wishes down below. If you don't do that, you guys, then you just aren't my friends. You don't love me enough. Just kidding. So, I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes of fish here. We got a few more off in the back, but that's all feeders and stuff like that. Boring stuff, you guys don't really need to watch it on video. So, we're not gonna do an intro today. We're just gonna dive right in. Um, pretty excited with what we do have here, you guys. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. We do have some more tumblers in, lots of them. Uh, orange, black, white, they are super cool. Stop in and get your sweet merch. I can't really call it what I want to call it, but we got some sweet merch over there. All right, I do have some awesome assistance today. We got Brennan back here behind the camera. We got the lovely mom over here on the other side of the camera. You're not gonna get to see him too much today because we have a lot to go through and a limited time to do it. So we're just gonna dive right in. There's a staple, made it all the way into the other room. All right, right off the rip here, we got some more uh, elephant nose for those of you guys that have been waiting for them. The last ones went pretty quick. We had two that didn't make it, uh, but all the other ones went pretty well. So, can these look all right in that camera right there, Brennan? What about now? You're not going to get this way. What about now? <laughs> Large elephant nose. These are some regular coolie loaches and some mustard gas half moon betas. Um, I will go through once we get all these guys in the tanks, you guys, and get a little video for you. Regular coolie loaches, so you guys can see these things in the fish tanks. Assorted fancy guppies, got some more of those. These look like uh, premium guppies. I don't really understand what the difference between assorted fancy and premium are, but they look different. Assorted guppies. Um, we did get some more of the Japanese blue swordtail guppies. So for those of you who are wanting those, Japan, they are back in stock again. Guppies. And some lemon tetras. I do know we have a lot of tetras on this order. Um, we added a new rack in the other room. We're really doing our best to try to get things organized so you guys don't have to hunt and peck in there consistently all the time. Lemon tetras. All right. These are Toucan Tetras. Not sure if you guys can see those very well on the camera, but we did get some more Toucan Tetras. These guys are really, really sweet. Toucan Tetras. That'll be an eight hour long video. This is a, a Plaquette Male Beta. Come on, camera. There you go. And some rummy nose tetras. Looks like we have some floaters already. We've had some issues with these things lately. We've gotten them in the last few weeks, but you guys haven't seen any for sale. Uh, just because I don't like the way they look. Rummy nose tetras. These guys are cool. I hope these come out on the camera. These are Redline Splash Tetras. Actually looks better without my hand behind them. Yeah. 
These are black devil snails. So these guys are really cool. I've never had these before. Kind of look like a nearite snail in, in a sense. Those are pretty neat. Holy crap. <laughs> well, it says black sword tails, but they're not. They're endlers. Mm -hmm. These are tiger endlers. And then some female betas. Tiger These are endlers. just assorted female betas. I know we've had a lot of requests for those lately. These are some more of those red line splash. Tetris. You don't need a whole lot of camera time with those. Uh, these are lemon Tetras. Or I'm sorry, neon Tetras. Looks like we got a couple floaters. Got some floaters. Assorted Delta Guppies. Those guys are pretty neat. Like some more rummy nose. Mm -hmm. These ones look a little better than the other ones. Still have a few floaters in there though. Some more rummy nose Tetris. I really hope these guys look good. Last of box number two, these are stone catfish. These are real small catfish. We still have a few left in the other room now, but they're really hard to find. They hide up in the driftwood and in the rocks. Stone and they will eat your baby shrimp. I learned the hard way. Box number three. You guys, please do me a favor for my birthday. Anyone who's watching this video, it's not hard just to hit that share button and post it on your fit, uh, favorite social media platform. That helps us out here tremendously. Um, we don't do a whole lot of advertising, so people find out about us through you guys, and we greatly appreciate that. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, and uh, leave some really cool comments down below. Let me know some of your favorite fish. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Uh, we got a little new setup today, so I'm hoping it works a little better. Things are a little more stable for you guys, so let me know how that's working for you guys as well. Oh yeah, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That's important. These are blue uh, Riley shrimp. These guys look really good. And these ones right here, I believe, are the yellow fires. These guys went really quick the last time we had them in. Orange sunkissed shrimp and yellow fire shrimp. Uh, these are spotted Pictus catfish. These guys are awesome. No names, but I know what these are. These are the vampire sword tails. These are some of my favorites. The bag's kind of a little dirty on the inside, but man, you guys got to check these things out in person. They are so freaking awesome. Vampire sword tails. 765,200 bazillion 475 uh, black coolie loaches. <laughs> it just looks weird in there, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like a ball of worms. Black coolie loaches. We got some more of the black carbon shrimp. Looks like we have a little casualty down there. It's a good size too. Splat. Black carbon shrimp. Okay. I'm Blue Riley shrimp. Ooh, these are nice size. These are Odessa barbs. Odessa barbs? Odessa barbs. These guys are beautiful.
Um, some more sort of Delta Guppies. And these look like black sword tails. These are some Stairby quarries. Stairby, Sturby, Stabai. And then some albino bichers. These are regular albino um, Senegal bichers. Albino Senegal bicher. Getting old? Yeah, getting old. Extremely old. Wow, these guys are big. Um, these are pajama cardinals. Um, looks like I'm gonna have quite a few of those. We got a separate box over there. Pajama There's cardinals. Salt water stuff. PJ Cardinal, PJ Cardinal, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you already got one, that's six. Seven. So, well, you already had one. There's five here plus one you got. Oh, you gave me two. Oh, did I? Oh, well. Are those all PJs then? I didn't look, I just grabbed them. Oh, yeah, maybe I got eight of them, because here's another one. Here's another one, you guys. Yeah, this whole box is salt water. Yeah. Isaac, Dave, if you're watching, I got all your fish. Um, these are purple fire fish. How's that looking there? Mm. It's just not going to focus, is it? That's all right. Well, purple fire fish. This is a lawnmower blenny. That's good. We'll get a lawnmower and blenny. Down. And then this guy in here oh, is an emperor angel. Come here. There he is. Come down. It's really hard to see him. Is it really hard to see him? Yeah. Let me see what we got here. That's right. I'll get them spun around so they can see them. Well, maybe not. We'll get a video of them. Juvenile Emperor and Angel. And then Turbo Star Snails. Uh, Star Turbo Snails. These things are pretty cool. All right. On to the next box. weeks of waiting for these things and ordering and not getting them we finally have our dwarf African clawed frogs back African dwarf clawed frogs regular and long fin serpe tetras we've been out of those for a while too long fin and regular fin serpe tetras Um, some more penguin tetras. Penguin tetras. Fiddler crabs. Bo will be happy. Um, these are gold marbled angels. Angels. And it looks like we have a few in here who just 
aren't doing well, but these are silver uh, hatchet fish. This is also a tetra. So these guys are pretty neat. This is a top water swimmer. Um, real sensitive fish though. I would not say that this is for a, a beginner fish keeper. Silver hatchet tetras. Oh, it's bending over from here on out, Brennan. <laughs> I was super pumped to get these guys in. This is a Sweden F1 Hongai, um, I forget, it's an Imbuna, a Labidochromis, but I can't remember exactly what their name are, but to describe this fish, it is, if you're a lab fan, these things are awesome. Um, super, super Sweden awesome. Sweden F1 Hongai Labidochromis. These are the, uh, I don't even know how to say it, the Aga, Aga Sizai. Aga Zizi. Yeah, that's it. Couldn't get it out. Um, Corydoras. It's like me trying to say the word cinnamon. Large Rohan barbs. Yeah. They're Aga Sizai. I'll tell you tomorrow. Corydoras. Oh, you brought me this to put the fish on, didn't you? It's aluminum. Aluminum. I can say it if I say it slow. Uh, these are green sword tails. Going to get your groceries. Green and black sword tails. Uh, Julie, if you're watching, and you'll know who I'm talking about, um, all of these fish look great. I really appreciate the fact that you spend so much time to uh, make my life easy. Um, these are bumblebee catfish. Bumblebee catfish. Perfect. That'd be even better. These guys look so good. So. I'm not trying to throw any vendors under the under the bus or anything like that, but the last shipment of elephant nose we got, they looked, they were healthy as far as, you know, acclimating and getting them in a tank, getting them, you know, treated if needed and stuff like that, but they were bagged together. Um, these fish give off electrical impulses uh, continuously, so if you bag them all together in a bag, um, without separating them and then ship them halfway across the country in 24 hours, the, the electrical impulse they give off and how much they beat each other up and how they hunt and stuff, the last ones were not in very good shape, but we only lost two out of all of them. Um, one here and one with a customer, the rest of them I'm not sure on because I haven't heard anything back. And usually if I don't hear anything uh, at all, that's good news. Um, so I talked to another vendor and she said they had them and she literally handpicked the ones that we have now. Um, and she was kind of explaining to me how the shipping process goes and stuff like that. I know I'm up on the camera so you guys can't see me, but uh, she really hooked us up with these ones and I'm super, super pumped to have them. We got some panda quarries, you guys. Got some more of those in. Some more dwarf Mexican crawfish. Dwarf Mexican lobsters. Orange. These are assorted dwarf garamis. Assorted right. dwarf garamis. These guys are small right now, but when these things grow up, they look so good for a, for a barb. These are checkerboard barbs. It's the first time we've had those things in a while. Checkerboard barbs. You guys, if you're enjoying this video, um, if you like the camera just sitting still, I know it sounds silly, 
let me know. If you'd rather see us actually move the camera around and interact a little bit more, let us know. Uh, at the end of the day, I don't do these videos for myself. I do these videos for you guys so you can see what's coming and going out of our shop all the time. Uh, and it's the easiest way to keep you guys current with all the new stuff coming and going. So leave some feedback down below. Leave some comments down below uh, as far as how it's working. Uh, do I need a microphone? Am I not talking loud enough? Or is there too much background noise? Keep me posted on how all that stuff's going for you guys. Colombian Snowball Plecos. These things look really, really good, you guys. Oh man, I wish you could see these through the camera. And another one of my favorite Tetras. These are the Diamond Tetras. All right, you guys. Last box of fish. Oh, it's not very heavy. Oh, it's not even fish. Um, hey. These are plants. We've got some. This is a java fern on rocks. So if you guys can look in here, we've got different types of Anubias and stuff on rocks. We've got ferns and Anubias on driftwood throughout the shop. Um, really new, we got a really cool new plant set up in the back room or in the uh, community room. So uh, the plant should be a lot more visible, a lot more healthier. Uh, and we're really starting to get into some of the really cool stuff. This is um, red root floaters. Lots of those. Uh, some more java moss. We haven't had java moss in here for a couple weeks outside of what we grow. Um, this is more Anubius on rocks. We just set them up here. We'll just toss them all back in this box that we're done running. Huh. All right. I forget who asked for this stuff the other day. Um, you were begging me to buy it out of my tanks and I was sold out of everything besides what's in my discus tank and I'm not taking anything out of there for anybody. So I have lots of tiger lotus plants. I don't know how many you asked for, but I got quite a few. So come in and get these. I'm only going to hold them for a week before I start selling them to everybody else. I want to see what this looks like. These are more Anubias on driftwood. And what's really unique about these is we were getting our Anubias plants on driftwood from another vendor. And I'm not saying they did it wrong, but they glued them to the top. And one of the issues I've had with that is we're constantly re-gluing them back to everything, which means if I'm doing that here, you guys are probably doing it at home. All of these are grown in water, drilled through, can you see that Brennan? Yeah. Drilled through and glued. So these should not come apart on you in your aquarium. So I'm super, super, super pumped for these. Um, probably gonna be the same price, maybe a little bit cheaper than what we were selling before because I got a better deal on these than what we were getting previously. So all of our plants have been coming in amazing. They've been looking really good. I know I do a lot of potted plants. Um, but we will start getting into more of the tissue cultures, driftwood plants, uh, rooted plants, stuff like that. So I'm super, super, super pumped. Uh, with that being said, the tiger you guys, lotus thank plants. you for watching. Uh, thank you for sticking with us. Um, back this up so I'm not like staring at my face. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for all your guys' support. Please don't forget to share this video. It means the world to us. Hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you guys are the first to see our videos with all of our new stuff that comes in. Um, it is hard for us to keep track over 250 tanks and what's in stock and what's not. Um, and I appreciate you guys always messaging and asking and things like that, but this is going to be the fastest way for you to stay current with what's coming in and out of our shop. We post a video every Thursday. Also, 
one last thing before I end this broadcast here for all you amazing people. Um, we do have axolotls in, thank you, Brennan. So I do have some wild type axolotls in. We just got them a couple days ago. Um, what's that? Oh, yeah, we do have blue horn worms in this week. They won't last long, they grow fast, so come and get them. Um, uh, oh, yeah, I am thinking about doing one more video throughout the week, but this one I'm wanting to do on. I'm wanting to do this one on Facebook Live. Uh, just kind of a what's new in the shop, what's going on, questions and answers, shooting the breeze, getting to know you guys a little bit more. Um, it doesn't have to be about fish or aquariums or reptiles, it can just be about anything. So if you guys think that's a cool idea and you wanna see something like that, let me know down below as well. Without further ado, you guys, don't forget all my birthday gifts I asked for. Yeah. And we will see you guys next Thursday. Stay fishy, my friends.